This fly can kill you by sneaking parasites into your body that slowly shut down your brain. Kissing bugs spread a disease that can sit in your body for years and eventually destroy your heart. And these hornets can hospitalize or even kill humans. These are the most disturbing insects in the world. Tsetse or tsetse flies might look like you know bigger house flies, but these little things are nasty. They live mostly in sub-Saharan Africa and carry a parasite that causes African sleeping sickness. You get bitten, at first you might just get a fever, maybe some body aches, but if the parasite sticks around long enough, it crosses into your brain and messes you up bad. People with advanced sleeping sickness get confusion, weird personality changes, they start falling asleep randomly during the day. If it's not treated, the disease is almost always fatal. There are actually two types of this disease. One progresses slowly, it could take years to kill. The other works faster, sometimes in just a few months. It's terrifying to think about. The good news is though, the number of cases has dropped by quite a bit. Back in the 90s, there was tens of thousands of people getting sick every year, but by 2018, that number dropped to under a thousand, thanks to new medicine and better ways to catch it early. Still, if you don't know you've been bitten or you wait too long to get treatment, things won't end well. The name kissing bug sounds pretty harmless, but these bugs can absolutely ruin your life. They're called that because they tend to bite people while they sleep right around the mouth. It's not the bite itself that's the problem, it's what happens next. These bugs carry a parasite with a complicated name I can't pronounce, which causes a disease called Chagas. After they bite you, they usually poop right near the bite, and if you accidentally rub it into the wound or your eyes, that's when you get infected. This disease is sneaky. At first, you might not even notice anything. Maybe you'll just feel like you've got the flu, but over the course of years, it can wreck your heart and digestive system. Some people end up with heart failure or dangerous arrhythmias and don't even know it was caused by a bug bite years earlier. The kissing bug mostly lives in South and Central America, but they've been found in parts of the US too, especially in the South. The thing that makes these bugs even scarier is that there's no way to get rid of the disease in its later stages. If the parasite isn't killed early, it can stay there forever. So yeah, glad you clicked on this video. When news about killer hornets hit in 2020, people freaked out, and honestly, for good reason. The giant Asian hornet, also called the word I cannot say on YouTube, hornet, can grow up to two inches long and has a stinger that can easily pierce a beekeeping suit. Their venom can cause kidney failure or death if someone gets stung enough times or has an allergic reaction. In Japan, these hornets kill around 30 to 50 people every year. Usually, that's because a swarm attacks, though. These hornets can also wipe out entire honeybee colonies in hours. They don't just kill the bees, they rip their heads off and then carry away the bodies to feed their own larvae. Beekeepers were on high alert when these things were first spotted in North America, especially in Washington State and British Columbia. A lot of work went into tracking and destroying their nests before they could spread. The idea of giant hornets flying around decapitating bees and potentially putting people in the hospital not my idea of a good time. If you ever find yourself in the rainforests of Central or South America, you do not want to mess with bullet ants. These things are about an inch long and their sting is often ranked as the most painful insect sting on the planet. People say it feels like taking an actual bullet, hence the name. Some describe the pain as a deep throbbing burn that can last for up to 24 hours. Justin Schmidt, the guy who made the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, literally let himself get stung by tons of insects to rate the pain and he put the bullet ant right at the top. He called it pure, intense, brilliant pain, like walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch nail in your heel. These ants don't usually go after people unless you disturb their nest, but if you do, they'll absolutely come for you. In some parts of Brazil, there are tribal initiation rituals where young men purposely stick their hands into gloves filled with bullet ants to prove their toughness. Imagine just willingly taking dozens of the worst stings on earth. I, I can't imagine. Driver ants, also known as army ants, move in massive swarms, sometimes millions, and they don't stop for anything. If something's in their path, whether it's insects, small animals, even larger creatures that can't move fast enough, they'll attack and they will tear it apart. Their jaws, or mandibles, are huge compared to their bodies and can snap shut with incredible force. In some places, 
People have actually used driver ants as like emergency stitches. You let the uh, ant bite the edges of a wound and then they'll snap the body off. So you just leave the jaws clamped shut, kind of like a staple, nuts. But it's swarms that are the real problem. People have evacuated their homes because the ants will just roll through like a living, crawling wave, devouring whatever's in their way. Driver ants are mostly found in Africa, and while they aren't hunting humans, if you can't get out of their path in time, you'll get bitten over and over. These ants don't have good eyesight, but they don't really need it. Once they've locked onto you, it's all over. Fleas, they might seem like tiny, annoying pests, but just look at the history of these things. Back in the day, fleas were one of the main culprits behind the spread of the Black Death, the bubonic plague that wiped out millions of people in the 1300s. They'd hitch rides on rats, they'd bite infected animals, and then pass the plague straight to humans. And it's not like they're harmless now. Fleas today can still spread diseases like typhus and cat scratch fever. They're tough to get rid of, too. A single flea can lay hundreds of eggs in your home and they jump like Olympic athletes up to 150 times their body length. Even if you kill the adult fleas, the eggs can survive and then hatch later, starting the whole cycle over again. Flea bites cause crazy itching, allergic reactions, and infections if you scratch too much. In large numbers, especially on pets, they can cause anemia from all the fluid they suck out. So yeah, they're small, but they've been deadly before, and they're still a problem if you're not paying attention. The name killer bee is isn't an exaggeration. These bees were accidentally introduced to the Americas in the 50s when scientists were trying to breed a more productive honeybee. What they got instead was a super aggressive hybrid. Unlike regular honeybees, Africanized bees will chase people for long distances, sometimes over a quarter of a mile. If they think their hive is threatened. And they don't just send one or two bees after you, they come in swarms. People have died after getting hundreds of stings. The stings themselves aren't any more toxic than regular bees, but the sheer number of attacks is what makes them so dangerous. They've been known to invade residential areas, parks, they've flown into people's cars, and they're quick to get defensive. Once they lock onto a target, they'll keep coming even if you try to run. They're basically the worst case scenario for people with bee phobias. Tarantula hawks are terrifying. I mean, just look at the things. They're not really out to get humans, but if you mess with one, you'll probably regret it. Their sting is ranked as one of the most painful insect stings in the world. People who have been stung describe it as immediate, mind-blowing pain that pretty much shuts your body down for a good few minutes. Again, Justin Schmidt, the pain index guy, rated it near the top of painful insect stings and said if you get stung by one, you should just lie down and scream because trying to do anything else is basically pointless. Good news is the sting isn't deadly unless you're allergic, but the pain is unbearable. The tarantula hawk's sting is so intense it actually uses it to paralyze tarantulas. They drag their still alive bodies into a burrow and lay an egg on them. When the egg hatches, the wasp larva eats the spider alive, saving the vital organs for last so that it stays fresh. That is comic levels of brutal. Luckily, they don't usually go after people unless provoked, but yeah, if you see one, best to give it plenty of space. These little guys look harmless, but the Lonomia caterpillar is one of the most dangerous insects on the planet. Found mostly in South America, especially in Brazil, these fuzzy looking caterpillars are actually covered and venomous spines. If you accidentally brush up against one, the spines inject a powerful toxin. The venom can cause something called disseminated intravascular coagulation, which is a fancy way of saying your BLOOD starts clotting in some places and then just won't clot in others. That means people can suddenly start bleeding internally or just keep bleeding from small cuts that won't stop. There have been multiple deaths connected to Lonomia stings, and the worst part is you don't always feel the sting right away. It can sneak up on you. In some cases, victims don't even realize they've been stung until they start having severe symptoms hours later. Brazil had to develop a specific anti-venom just for this caterpillar because the threat was so serious. Just a reminder that sometimes the deadliest creatures aren't the ones that look scary or the ones you don't even notice. Which brings us to our final point. Lastly, we have the mosquito. Yeah, kinda crazy that one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet are the tiny, annoying things we squish with our bare hands all the time. Mosquitoes are responsible for more deaths 
than lions, sharks, or snakes. By far, every year millions of people get sick from diseases that mosquitoes carry, and hundreds of thousands don't survive. Malaria is the big one. In 2022 alone, around 249 million people caught malaria and more than 600,000 died from it. But that's not all mosquitoes spread. There's dengue fever, which infects about 390 million people a year. Zika virus is another one. If a pregnant woman catches it, her baby can be born with serious birth defects. There's also West Nile virus, yellow fever. The main mosquitoes that spread all this stuff are the Anopheles, Aedes, and Kulak species. It's not like we've just let this happen. We've used bug sprays, mosquito nets, of course, vaccines, even released genetically modified mosquitoes to try and slow them down. But no matter what we do, they just keep coming. Mosquitoes may be easy to deal with in small numbers, but in the grand scheme of things, they may be the deadliest animal on Earth. That's kind of nuts. With all that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video. Thank you.